Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this really gorgeous crochet curly whirly flower pom pom. It's really simple to do. It's made out of three layers. I've got one, two, three. I've used two different colours. Um, there's nothing to stop you from adding more layers to this and you'll be able to see how you can do that once the tutorial gets started. Um, use nothing to stop you from just using one colour and making it or just lovely one. I think that would be really gorgeous in cream maybe. Have this big curly cream flower. That would be really gorgeous and especially if you're on, on a nice winter coat which is what I plan to do with this. So I've used two different colours but like I say you use as many as you like. Um, I'm going to use these two in this tutorial because this really lends itself to a variegated yarn like this. This is you know, like like I say, I wouldn't use cheap walls. I don't really go to buy expensive walls. So, you know, you can pick these pretty well much everywhere and fabulous ranges of colours. So I'm just going to use this green and this variegated yarn to do this. I'm using double knit and I'm using my four mil hook, my trusty four mil hook. And you'll also need, of course, scissors. So let's get started. OK, so we're going to get started by doing a magic loop like that and we're just going to do one chain to begin with and then we're going to do 12 double crochets into that loop and there's our last double crochet and then I'm just going to just double check that so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then we're just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet just to join up the two ends and then once I've done that I can then pull this tail to make that a nice tight circle okay so the next round is to do two double trebles into each of the double crochets we've just done okay so we're going to start off by doing four chains and that replaces the first double treble and the double treble I will put a link to in the description box below but it's basically wrapping the yarn twice around and then oops, and then doing that into the same spot that we did the, the first four chains and then we just work that all the way around so we'll end up with 24 so I'll just do that Okay, so we've just done the, the 24th double treble into each um, into that round from the first row and then we're just going to slip stitch into that fourth chain just to join those two together. Okay, pull that middle bit so we've got that nice and flat now. Okay, so that's the first bit. So now what we're going to do is it's going to be the slight, slightly tricky bit, just a little bit fiddly and what we're going to do is we're now going to do two rounds of making this this curly bit and these curly bits are just made of nine chains and we're going to do two rounds so to do two rounds what we're going to do is I'm just going to slip stitch into that back loop of the stitch next door like that so we've got the you've got the front and the back loop. So I've covered that in my leaf video. So if you want to um, be familiar with that, go back and have a look at my leaf video, and I'll show you how to work in the front and back loops. But we're just going to slip stitch into that back loop, and then we're going to chain nine: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to slip stitch into the same back loop like that and then we're going to repeat that for all of the back loops all the way around so slip stitch into the next one and then do nine chains three four five six seven eight nine 
and again slip stitch into that same place and then you move on to the next back loop along I can see it and I've got to look through the camera there we go like that slip stitch into there and we're just going to do that all the way around for the back loops okay so I'm just going to do my last uh, curly whirly petal on this back loop round oh, five six oops seven eight nine and again just slip stitch into that back loop there and now this is where it's starting to get a bit fiddly because you're trying to avoid catching the other loops and things but guess what we're going to do this again but now we're going to work into the front loops all the way around and uh, that will give us two layers of this lovely curly stitch so this is where we just now we're going to slip stitch into that, that front loop there and we're going to pull those other loops you've already worked back um, so that they're not in your way just slip stitch and then off again we do another round of doing nine so it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine and again slip stitch into the same space and this is now going to be the front loops so there's our next front loop there and we're just going to continue. Okay, so we're just going to come up to do the last couple of petals. Um, I've got two more to do there, but I just wanted to make the point that, you know what, this is not an exact science. It's not going to be a fine art piece. And what I'm saying is, if you don't get a petal in every one, so what I'm saying is, if you don't have 24 of these, you may have 23, you may have 25. You know what, I really don't think anyone's going to notice. Um, and I, unless you know you have a passion for counting things then they're not really going to notice and if you look at this one it will get squished up so you know it's really not going to show too much okay so I'm just going to finish off the last two in the same way let's hold these out the way Okay, so that was our last petal, and what we're going to do is we're just going to put the hook through all of our work, and we're just going to finish off that last stitch by pulling it through like that. Oops, and we'll just get the scissors, and we just cut off. I'm going to leave a fairly decent towel because we're going to be sewing this all together, so we want a bit of yarn to use, and um, yeah, we just pull that in through, put it nice and tight. And there we go. There is our first layer. Doesn't look too exciting at the moment, but you can see how those um, those petals being worked in the front and the back loop gives us that lovely double row around that single edge. Okay, so as you can see on the one that I've already made, um, I did another layer in a different colour. So what we did on this layer is we started off the round with double trebles but well, we did did a row of double crochets and then we did double trebles into those double crochets so what we're going to do is we've, we've done exactly the same here I've done double crochets 12 same number as this one and then I've just done a, a, a round of two trebles get that to focus two trebles into the top of each double crochet so we've got 24 trebles so we had double trebles in this one and now we've got trebles in this one okay so exactly the same we're going to work these loop these um chains these loopy chains into the front and the back of each of these stitches on here so we're going to work into the back loops all the way round. I'm not sure you can see this. Back loops all the way round. You still can't see that, can you? <laughs> Sorry. I'll get this right in a minute. There we go. The back loops all the way round, and then we're going to work in the front loops all the way round. So I'm going to do that, and then I shall come back. Okay. So what I've done now is I've done the first round, which we did with. A row of double crochet and then double trebles and then this one which is the one I've just done 
which was the round of double crochets and I did trebles this time and then just to speed things up what I did is I did a final round and this time I did the double trebles and then I did a round of half trebles okay so we've gone to double trebles trebles and half trebles and as you can see they're all slightly smaller than the last one before and then what you do is you simply you layer them up on top of each other make sure you've got all your lovely curly whirly petals out of the way before you put the next one down and then put the top one in and as you can see as you put it together it scrunches up more and becomes this fabulous big pom-pom of curly whirly bits <laughs> so yeah now you would just get a, a, a dining needle a dining needle a dining needle <laughs> and uh, sew it all together and as you sew it you just sort of pull it pull it down tighter and you end up with this lovely dome so I'll just sew that together quickly okay and there we go there is the uh, curly whirly crochet <laughs> pom pom flower and uh, yeah I think it looks quite funky and it'll definitely uh, look amazing as a brooch you just sew on a brooch pin on the back there and uh, you could just put a bit of felt round and sew your brooch pin on if you wanted to. Um, I tend to I like to use a bit of fabric glue, a bit of felt, and sew it on. Really, I find that uh, there's a nice belts and braces approach to sewing on a brooch pin. You don't want it to come off. And yeah, and uh, there we go. That's my tutorial on how to do this curly crochet flower. Now you could just do two layers. There would be, you know, you could just do the two layers. And if you had um, a nice big bead or button, you could just put that in the middle um, of the two layers. That would also look pretty cool, I think. Um, yeah, brooches, um, I don't know, cushion cover things I was thinking about, wasn't it? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? It'd be nice and uh, for kids, that would be really nice and tactile for them. Okay, well, I'll stop rambling. So if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. That would be great. Um, so why not subscribe so you can uh, see all my new videos coming up. Um, yes, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and all the links you'll need for all the stitches involved are in the description box down below. So thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye.